And with our economy slowly reopening, many Tennesseans are heading back to work. But what happens if they don't feel comfortable or safe? Mo Hyder is in downtown Nashville. So, Mo, what are their options? Well, I'm certainly understandable. That virus is not going anywhere for the foreseeable future. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable actually going to the office and going back to work. So if they decide not to, they can still get uh, federal aid. Now, for example, large clusters of COVID-19 cases were reported at the Tyson plant in Shelbyville and Goodlettsville. They were deep cleaned and reopened. And then days later, President Trump ordered them to stay open no matter what. If the employees don't feel comfortable going back, they can still get the pandemic unemployment insurance from the federal government, which is $600 a week, but they won't get any state benefits. Now, some businesses have been pushing Congress for their own legal protections. For example, expanding workers' compensation for those who decide to go back to work and end up getting the virus on the job. Trade-off is the, if a worker gets injured on the job, they have workers' compensation coverage. The benefit to the employer is if a worker is injured on the job, there's not this liability determination. There's not this negligence claim. There's not this lawsuit. It's just workers' compensation. And legal experts do say they're expected to see a spike in complaints as people do uh, head back to work shortly. Now, they're also advising employers to be honest with their employees when it comes to the safety protocols. And even back here in Tennessee, Governor Lee is recommending people to work from home if they can still. In downtown Nashville, Mohider News Channel 5.